Well, good afternoon everyone and happy uh, hump day. It is the middle of the week. Uh, welcome to Tenerife, Los Cristianos to be precise. Uh, I'm down here just to give you another little bit of a news update. A few people have been asking for them. If you're new to the channel, a big welcome. Uh, I am Andrew, I've lived here for uh, eight years now and I've been doing these regular little news updates just to keep everyone in the loop with what is going on uh, over here in Tenerife in particular, but also the other islands as well. Uh, so if you are new, a big welcome. Uh, make sure you do subscribe. If you are a uh, regular viewer, welcome back as well. I hope you're all doing well. I'm gonna start um, in a slightly different direction. I don't think we need to run through uh, the COVID rates too much anymore. They are pretty low, pretty steady. Um, I'm gonna go straight in with the main news and that is uh, we could be seeing the end of masks over here in Spain, Canary Islands as well. Uh, a couple of days ago, the Prime Minister Pedro uh, Sanchez uh, has said for the third time uh, that uh, the mandatory use of masks indoors to prevent the spread of coronavirus will uh, soon, very soon, be dropped. Uh, but this time he has given a date when the government is meeting to discuss it. So he has been saying it, but there's been sort of no real dates or meetings going to be held for it now. There is. It's going to be tomorrow. Um, on the two previous occasions, he has only stated that it would be soon. Uh, he didn't actually give any specific date. He confirmed a few days ago um, that the uh, committee will be meeting um, to analyze all the data, all the statistics, and see if we can drop the masks inside. Um, that will be tomorrow. So hopefully we will see it completely relaxed. We will see masks, masks become optional. I know a lot of you have been waiting for it. It's not a huge problem wearing them inside. Personally, I don't really mind it, popping them on, going into a shop. Um, Laura did say my partner, she's gonna continue to wear them in, inside. She still doesn't feel comfortable uh, taking them off inside in those enclosed spaces. Uh, on Thursday, uh, the Interterritorial Council meeting uh, with representatives from all health authorities uh, of the authority, um, autonomous communities will meet and discuss uh, the new public health uh, system and a new framework. Uh, the head of the public health says that the end of masks is now very close. So very good news there. Uh, we will see, will it be completely optional, a bit like in the UK, uh, where you don't have to wear them at all anymore, it's optional to you, or will we see some form of, on the buses you'll still have to wear them, but in restaurants maybe not. I think it's time, I think we're ready. A lot of people are sort of quite lax with it now anyway. What I would say though is, make no mistake, it's not gone, COVID has not gone. Uh, my colleague and staff member is currently off with COVID. She picked it up on a trip to London. Uh, my sister has also got it back at home as well. And they're not particularly well either. It's not uh, been, oh, they've tested, but you know, they're sitting around comfortable. They're not particularly very well either. So I think it is up to yourselves if you're gonna choose to wear them or not. I might still put them on in very close spaces where it's not very ventilated, but I think it's time now to sort of move on from it. The masks are a bit of a burden. A lot of people hate wearing them, forget to wear them. So hopefully uh, tomorrow I will be bringing you some more news and that is that uh, masks are no more in uh, Tenerife and Spain, hopefully, or Canary Islands. In other little bits of news now, I did stress this in a video the other day on the channel, which I will link in the description. I've been stressing it on every single live stream we've done recently as well. Um, there is a lot of scamming going on. There is a lot of pickpocketing going on. There is a lot of thefts going on in the, in the islands right now, uh, whether it be cars, pickpockets, and there's also warnings here of this uh, bird poo scam, which is now going on, uh, where uh, it's been going on in mainland Spain and also here in the Canaries. Um, the scam sees one of them throw white liquid on the back of a victim's clothes, either in a quiet area or on a street when using an ATM. Uh, they then tell them that they've got bird poo on them and offers to help them clean it off. However, during an exaggerated wipe down, the culprit steals their wallets, their bank cards, valuables, um, and if they can, they would uh, take the cash from the ATM as well that was being withdrawn. Uh, tourists have been warned about holiday scams in recent weeks after a surge uh, in bookings for trips abroad. I've been warning it for the last few weeks now. I'm hearing it every single day. People. Uh, trying to get their, to have their phones stolen, their wallets, even empty cars. Now it used to be they'd break into the cars if they saw something in there, but now they're just breaking into them just to rummage through and check the glove boxes, check there's nothing in them. 
So if you are coming over, be very careful. Get one of those cheap money belts from Amazon or just take cash with you. Don't take anything out with you that you're worried about losing. Um, you know, if you've got nice watches, nice jewelry, I'd personally, I'd leave them at home. Just wear some other nice cheap stuff. If you lose it or it gets broken, etc., you're not gonna worry. Um, but it is a warning. Crime is on the up, unfortunately. Uh, these professional gangs, they fly in, they fly all over Europe. They'll rent a car for a week, two weeks, and they'll just go around the island robbing people all day, every day. Uh, they're very professional, very quick and they know exactly what they're doing, they know exactly where the tourist hotspots are, they know exactly how to lock, uh, pop the locks on various car models, uh, particularly Fiat's they're very good at. So do be very, very careful if you are coming over. In other general news and my observations, if you do watch the channel regularly, we do loads of live streams uh, throughout the week, walking around, out and about. I'd say it's very busy, it's very much back to normal in my opinion. Um, there's no signs of any changes. There's been nothing negative at all, apart from this little bit of petty crime pickpocketing. It's been actually a very nice few weeks. The rates are coming down, the sun's been out. We've had the hottest February uh, on record for a long time. So all very, very positive, I must say, but I wanted to bring you that little bit of news if you are worried about wearing masks. Hopefully uh, tomorrow I will bring you an update as soon as it happens. Hopefully tomorrow they will announce it and announce when. It won't be from tomorrow, they will announce it tomorrow hopefully and then it will possibly change next week, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, but let me know your thoughts, are you like Laura where you're going to continue wearing them inside or are you on the other scale where you're done with masks now, you're going to just crack on and um, you know have your own immune system fight it. Just be aware Covid is still knocking around and um, speaking to my colleague there she sounds awful so it's not completely gone, but masks will now be optional. Let me know your thoughts. Are you gonna carry on? Not carry on, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Uh, but that is gonna be it for now. If you are new, make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Do let me know in the comments your thoughts. If I missed anything really, really important, uh, do comment and let me know. And that'll be it for now. I'll bring you another news update very soon, but for now, stride on and uh, no more masks, hopefully.